It's Friday, and you know what that means. Let's do a little bit of sewing chat. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and thanks for hanging with me. So today is Friday, which means that this is a Friday Sews, where I get to tell you all about the things that I've been working on, what's coming up, and then share a little bit about life with you all. First, I'd like to mention that Jen with Today and Jen's Sewing Room is the creator of Friday Sews. And well, she actually started a Facebook group. So if you're a creator here on YouTube and you do Friday Sews, make sure that you join her Facebook group. I'll put the link in the description box below so that way you can find it easily. <laughs> Um, she's actually planning on doing some prompts to like kind of unite the Friday Sews community and I think it's going to be really fun. So let's start with what I've actually been working on this week. So I have Halloween costumes on my mind. We like to celebrate Halloween in my house. Every year we have a bit of a different theme. I mean one year it was killer clowns. Another year we did the Ghostbusters. We've done Beetlejuice as a family. So this year we're actually going to do the Super Mario Brothers. My husband's going to be Mario and I'm going to be Luigi. <laughs> I even picked up a little hat. Give me some buttons <laughs> and this fancy mustache. It's Luigi. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. My kid is going to be Toad, you know, the little mushroom dude. And so, Toad actually has white pants and a blue vest with like some gold trim around it. So, I went ahead and I made him a quick pair of white pants. Um, this is just from some stuff that I had in my stash already. Because they're pants, I did want to make him something that he could possibly wear another time. I mean, they're white pants, so I have no hope that my four-year-old's going to be wearing this for a while, but at least he can get a couple of uses out of it, I'm guessing. And they're actually super long, so I do need to hem them. <laughs> you can see where I actually cuffed them. But, yeah, I mean, they're just basic white pants made out of a twill. I suppose that since I'm already on the Super Mario theme, I should just share that I'm actually planning on making um, my jumper as well as my husband's overall, both of them, out of a blue twill that I just picked up from Joann's. So I got this fabric from Joann's and I actually got six yards of it because I figured I could make my son's vest out of it as well. So that's three total garments. Um, it's just a it's just their basic, separate, stretch twill um, in blue. So I think it's actually going to be perfect. So since I already have my hat and I have the buttons that I'm going to sew onto the actual fabric, I think that all that I'm really missing after I make my overalls is the green t-shirt. So I think I'm close to getting done. I still need to find a pattern for my husband. Um, I don't have any in my stash, and I was actually kind of surprised about that. So if you know of any good men's overalls patterns that aren't like too complicated, send them over my way because I really do need to find a pattern to whip up this upcoming week for him. The pattern that I plan on using for my overalls is this one. So I recently picked this up at their $1.99 sale, and this is Simplicity 9382. Here's my dilemma. I tend not to be an overalls type of person, and so when I was looking at all of the different styles, I mean, I could go with like a straight basic pair of overalls, but I don't know if I would necessarily wear them. And if I'm going to make them, I want something that I could possibly wear again. So I thought that this might be a cute alternative. Um, it has some pleating in the front here. I'm not sure if I'd actually put that pocket, but I do like the shaping that it has up and around the front here. It's like kind of a rounded shaping, and I think it'll actually look really nice. The back view crisscrosses down here, and it ties into a bow. And it looks like there's some buttons back here. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about buttons in the back. I mean, it, 
<laughs> that seems a little odd. That seems like a bit of an odd place to be. But I don't know, maybe they'll be loose enough to where I can actually just kind of like pull them down without dealing with the buttons. I'm, I'm going to make this pattern. It's, it's the one that I picked up. Um, I'm just hoping that I'll like it enough to actually wear it to other places as well. The other thing that's actually been under my sewing machine are all of these dresses. On Tuesday, I received the 200 dresses from Puerto Rico that I had been expecting, um, and all of my extra labels came in as well. So I've been sewing labels on to dresses. I have a, I've got this box down here, this one, and I've gotten halfway through it. So I hope to get through the rest of them tonight so that way I can start working on the other two boxes tomorrow. And then I'm going to swing by the post office to pick up <laughs> the remaining dresses that are there tomorrow. And then I'll have to do that again on Saturday. So I'll try to get all of those labels on there. But I'm going to be delivering all of these dresses on Wednesday. So I am driving all the way up north <laughs> in Maryland and I'll be delivering the dresses to my ambassador so I am looking forward to that and just kind of like closing out like this chapter um, it's been really fun oh and on Sunday I'm actually going to be sharing with you all a tutorial on how to transform a knit dolman pattern to like include that really big funnel neck like I had over here on um, one of my reversible wool shirts. So I'm excited to be able to bring that to you and show you how to like hack a pattern to do that. I think that's going to be really fun and I'm excited to kind of introduce that into my closet because I could really use, I could really use some more of those. <laughs> on the personal side, I feel like life has just been really moving by kind of quickly. Um, grandma actually got really sick and ended up in the hospital and she's in her 90s. Well, now that she's out of the hospital, she's been placed in hospice. So, you know, that's that's not the most exciting news for anyone, right? I mean, it's, it's just, it's not. It's not exciting news. So I've been trying to think about how I can support the family throughout this time. And I've just, I've been doing a lot of batch cooking because I don't want my father and mother-in-law to feel like, you know, they have to do that while family's also traveling and, and it's just, it's a real busy, hectic time for them. Um, but I was thinking about ways to kind of like comfort the family and, you know, when she does pass. And so I picked up two different patterns here and um, one is a teddy bear like puppy dog and bunny rabbit pattern um and i thought that it would be really nice to make you know s family members little little dolls from some of her clothing and then i also have this pattern right here so i'm just going to keep these little patterns to the side and i mean i'll i'll offer to make little stuffed animals when the appropriate time comes. And then on a bit of a happier note, so I'm actually starting to think about my wardrobe coming up and some of the things that I want to introduce into it. And so I've been looking at some real like high-end designer looks and I think I'm going to make some inspired looks by them. Um, so for Thanksgiving, I'm planning on making a pair of sparkly pants, like a sparkly little outfit with maybe even a um, cardigan, like a grandfather cardigan or something that's cozy to go over the top of it. And I'm actually really excited about that. So I'm going to have to like start working on that one because I don't want to run into fit issues at the ninth inning and then... <laughs> get stuck having to wear something you know different and change course so I just I've kind of got like a lot of really fun sewing plans up in the air <laughs> okay well that's my Friday sews don't forget to check in the info box down below because I put lots of links in there and I'm also going to include that Facebook link for you and you are 
If you enjoy watching Friday Sews, check out this video right over here. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day. I'll see you Sunday.